Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Venn diagram in Microsoft Word. So if we go up to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and select the circle. Now I can click and drag but I will end up producing an oval. So if I hold my shift key down you can see it will remain a perfect circle. So insert a circle and that circle will come with an outline and also a fill color. Now in order to create the Venn diagram we've got to reduce the opacity or the transparency of that fill color. So select your shape, go to shape format and go over to format pane. So if I take that off, click on format pane, you can see that we have a couple of menus. If you go to the bucket icon, click on fill and click on the drop down, you have the option to adjust the transparency. So if I just take that to 50%, press enter, you can see I've got a little more transparency on that shape. In addition, you can also change the color by going to shape fill and selecting from one of these colors, or you can select more fill colors and you can select a color from your color wheel. The color you've chosen will appear here and just click OK and you can see now that's been changed. Now to create more circles for your Venn diagram, select your shape, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. Now it's just a simple copy and paste. There's another way you can do this, select it, go to the Home tab, go to Copy, Deselect and press Paste. So now we have three circles. We can go ahead and change the color of these circles. I'm going to select this shape, go to shape format, select the colors. And for this one, I'll select purple. And for this one down here, I'll go back and just select blue. So now you can begin to move your shapes over the top of each other. To make sure they're perfectly lined up, if you select one of the circles, hold down the command or control key and select the other circle, go to align and select align to top, then go to group and select group. These two circles will now be one group. Then you can move this circle over the top to wherever you want it. Then hold down the command or control key, select the group above, then go to align and then select align to center and it will mean that this circle here is perfectly lined up in the center of these two circles. And then you have your overlap in the middle. Once you're happy, go to group and select group. And now you have one Venn diagram as a whole. Now, if you're not happy with the size of these circles, just go to ungroup and then ungroup again. If you select all three circles by holding down that command or control key, click in the corner holding down that shift key and drag out the circles. You can make them bigger or smaller. It's completely up to you. And make them a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go straight up to group and select group. And then I can move this to the center. Make sure it's in the center. Go to align, align to center. Once you're happy, you want to put some text in this Venn diagram. We can go to insert, word art, click on the drop down and select the first black one here. And then I'm just going to type out my text, then select it all. And normally it doesn't come with an underline. I'm not sure why it's been underlined, but we'll go to the home tab. I'm going to take off the underline. I'm going to change the text to white. You can see it's got a slight shadow on it. I'm just going to move that down over here. You can keep the shadow if you want to, but if you don't select the text, go over to text options, select on this middle one here. Go to shadows and select no shadow. Then I'm just going to reduce that text slightly using the decrease font size tool here. Then I'm going to move that with my arrow keys to where I want it to be placed. Then to copy and paste it, you can use any technique you want to. I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag, then deselect them both, reselect this one, move this one down here, deselect, reselect this one, click and drag out one for the center. Then you can go ahead and customize them. And then we can move this down with the arrow key. Check these are perfectly lined up across the top by selecting them both, holding down that Alt or Option key. Go to Align, Align to Top, and then you can group them together. Then you can make sure that this one, this one, 
holding down that command or control key, they're all lined up, aligned to center. Once you're happy, you can select everything, holding down that alter option key, sorry, command or control key, select group, and now everything is grouped together. Now you can't really resize this because if I do, you can see what happens. There we go. So just press command or control Z. If you do do that, I need to go back. So if you do want to resize things, you will have to ungroup it. Now I've noticed that I have spelt circle wrong. So go to group, ungroup, and then ungroup again. Perfect. If you do want to create a larger border for the outside of the circle, select it, go to the fill icon, go to line, and then here it says width. If you use the up arrow, as you can see, you can increase the thickness of that line going around the outside of that circle. So let's say I put it to two. What you can do is select two at the same time or all three and then you can customize them all at the same time. There we go. You can also change the color of those if you want to, and you can also change the line to become a dotted line. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.